Morning everyone. Just want to take us back to the Lord's Prayer. This is where we were last time I shared morning devotion. Last time I encouraged you to, to use it as a, as a tool really um, in your daily prayer life. After all, Jesus told us that that is how we should pray. Um, and I said it was a daily prayer because of a, a line in the middle of the prayer where Jesus says, give us this day our daily bread. Um, and that's the, the, the line that I've just been meditating on recently, this idea of petitioning God and asking him to, to meet our needs. Now, I think there's probably two, twofold kind of meaning to that, that line that Jesus tells us to pray, give us this day our daily bread. There's the immediate, a very practical kind of interpretation of it, where there will be some people praying that prayer today around the world, in our own country even, who will not have food. Bread being the, the most basic of, of food staples in Jesus' time. And Jesus encouraging people to, to pray for that, to pray for our practical needs. And as I said, some people will, will, will go without food today and will, will need to rely on God to pr- provide that for them. And even if you have food in your fridge and in your cupboards today, which I imagine many of you will be fortunate enough to, to have and, and be able to say that, there is also a reliance on, on God for our, for our very practical and physical things that we have uh, Jesus doesn't want us to become complacent thinking that it's because of us and um, that we have those things there is a reliance on God for every 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 need in our life physical and spiritual but there is a, a second meaning to that phrase a spiritual meaning where Jesus is telling us to to, to ask God to provide for our, our spiritual hunger Jesus himself in John's gospel said that I am the bread of life. That the, the, the people who come to him will, will never hunger. And Jesus is saying it in, in this prayer for us to, to ask God to provide for our, our spiritual hunger this day. Our spiritual needs this day. Just prior to Jesus saying that prayer in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 6. In Matthew chapter 4, the beginning of his ministry after he'd been baptised and gone into the wilderness and been tempted by the devil fasted for 40 days and the first temptation if you can remember was the devil coming to him and saying look at those stones on the ground make them into bread knowing full well that Jesus was hungry and it was a temptation that could be easily succumbed to but Jesus said no he said man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God see Jesus had this understanding that yes we all have physical needs we all have hungry tummies at times but he also knew that that, that that that's not the be all and end all. That actually we have a spiritual hunger, spiritual needs that are, that are satisfied and met when we come to God, when we look at his word. And similarly in this prayer, he's telling us, his followers, yes, to pray and acknowledge that, that all our, our physical and practical needs must come from God and do come from God. But also that, that we have spiritual needs that we have spiritual hunger and that we should come to God daily and ask God to satisfy those needs. And if we don't, then then they won't be satisfied. This will encourage us today to to come to God, to spend that time with him in his word which feeds us. And as we we do that, I pray that we will be satisfied, that we will be filled, that that spiritual hunger that we all have will be nourished. And again, just just direct us to that prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, that we that He He really would give us this day our daily bread, would feed us both practically and spiritually.